Hey, Andrew Pickler is coming to you today from Northdale Courts here in Tampa, Florida. I uh, got a question uh, over the weekend about a video we did on the third shot. How do you hold the paddle? Uh, and I'll show you in a second what I mean. So do you hold the paddle like basically facing up and down or do you hold the paddle laterally like a tennis player? What's the right way to do it? In the video we did on the third shot, uh, Matt was holding the paddle up and down uh, position, uh, sort of the, the pendulum position of swinging. Uh, and uh, so the question was because of the pros play, a lot of the pros play from a lateral position or from a tennis position. So the viewer's question was, uh, should I hold it like the pros do? And she sent me some pictures of the of the the way they were holding the paddle versus how Matt was holding the paddle. And so it's a topic that I think is worthy of, of some discussion. And uh, and so let's try and do that here. So let's get into it. So here are the two types of uh, swings that you can have in uh, pickleball. One is the pendulum. So basically it's the down like this. So the paddle's facing down. And I'll show you a, a, another view of that in a second, but it's basically the paddle's like this. And then the other one is the tennis or the lateral, which is where the paddle comes across like this, like in a side motion. So the question is which, uh, stroke is a better stroke to have in pickleball what i would suggest is that if you come from a racket background like tennis or racquetball or something like that some uh, or squash something where you have this type of motion in your in your uh, in your history in your athletic history then playing with a sideways motion is fine if you don't come from a, a tennis background or a background where you would have a side stroke in your uh, athletic history then I think the pendulum swing is probably a better stroke for you to focus on initially. Uh, it's a stroke that can be used for dinking very well. It's a, a stroke that can be used for the third shot very well. It's a stroke you can use for uh, serve and you're never gonna commit a serve fault from an illegal serve by having the uh, underhand motion of the pendulum swing. Uh, you can use it for return to serve. In pickleball, the drive, the tennis type of drive at, at most levels isn't that important. Uh, it's more important to have a good third shot, a good consistent dink, and then to be able to come up into the kitchen, dink well, and then be ready for a volley put away. So, so having a lateral stroke is, just isn't that important in pickleball. And if you had to pick a stroke for a beginner or someone who just didn't have a history with a racket sport, the pendulum swing is going to be a better swing for you to get into the game with. Once you master the pendulum swing and you can hit serves and returns and third shots consistently and dink well with it, uh, if you want to bring a lateral shot into your game to be able to cut the ball uh, or hit topspin on the ball or something like that, that's fine uh, to work on that as well. But it, foundationally, the pendulum swing is just a better stroke. And if the other swing that you're trying to bring into your game to cut the ball or, top, or hit topspin on the ball uh, falters during a match, you can always resort back to your fundamental stroke, which is the uh, pendulum stroke. Uh, again, being the best stroke for anybody who doesn't really have a background in the game. If you build your pickleball stroke around the pendulum stroke, you can have a nice uh, pickleball game, a uh, well-rounded pickleball game with a nice serve, a nice return, good dinking. Uh, basically, you can do anything you need to do with that stroke. Uh, and then you'll need a volley as well. But from a ground stroke perspective, you'll need, the pendulum swing can meet most of your needs. I want to be clear that when I'm talking about the pendulum swing versus the lateral swing, what I'm talking about are for ground strokes. I'm talking about third shots. I'm talking about dinks that have uh, bounced or even in the air that are just dinks that you're just trying to reset. I'm talking about serves and returns of serve. You'll still need to have a volley shot and the volley shot is going to be a lateral shot. So the volley shot will have to be a lateral shot. Uh, you can't really volley from a, a pendulum position, so you'll have to bring the paddle up either on one side like this, on the forehand side like this, or on the backhand side like this in order to be able to execute a volley. Um, but the uh, pendulum swing is just a good all-around swing for every other stroke other than the volley. If you come from a tennis or a racket ball or some other sort of racket sport background, the pendulum swing is still a very good swing to have in your arsenal. If you watch our shot breakdown video that we did of Matt McInerney's uh, third shot, uh, you'll see in there how he hits a pendulum stroke on many of his third shots. Uh, and he's actually a, a tennis player, a tennis instructor and tennis player who uh, picked up pickleball or adopted pickleball as one of his sports. And he has basically taken the pendulum swing for the third shot as his shot because of how consistent it is and how, how repeatable and consistent it can be uh, in order to execute that shot. One, uh, it can be used 